Okay, I've been trying to sort out the count API here, an application for live website views. So how can you use that on your website? Okay, I've been messing around here on an editor. Okay, so sim I've tried to do this as simple as I, I could. So you put the API link into the into the head section. So here it is. Script source hypertext transfer protocol, the API the county. That's their link. Hit. Then your site. Then here a callback. Visits callback. That's the link to the JavaScript you got to put in. So here I'll put live views, which is it attaches it to this, which you can put at the bottom of the page or another page in JavaScript page. Function live views response. So that there's a name, an attachment, and that's what the callback is. Yeah, as you would in CSS or um um, HTML. So that's there. That's the CDN, Content Delivery Network. Here, got just a little line here. H1, HTML, total views. That's there. Total views. So here, span ID equals visits, and that's here. Document dot get element by ID. So we're getting that. Visits, that's the attachment there in the HTML. Inner text response value. So we're going to put the response value inside visits. We're getting that element by the ID. That's the ID. Look, ID equals visits. So your site name will go in here. Callback, you can give that whatever name you like and that attaches it in the JavaScript there okay so that's the link between that function and the API for the HTML that's the link there I've tried to make that as simple as I can because I know a lot of the videos make it more complicated and then you style it however you want so if I go to the site back run that would be four that's as, that's as simple I've tried to make it as simple as I can to get you to understand how you can use that API and you can make a views counter on your website.